Hi there, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is uh, a second video on algebraic fractions and addition and subtraction of those fractions. Okay, so again, what we need to do is figure out what the lowest common denominator is. We can see here we have b plus 2 in the denominator here, b squared plus 2b in b. We can see here that this is factorable, so what we're going to do is just factor that piece. So then we have 3 over b plus 2 plus a minus 2. Now when we factor here we're pulling out the b out of both terms here. So we pull out the b and we're left with b plus 2 and then minus 4 over b. Now we can see that our denominator, or our lowest common denominator, will be b times b plus 2. So we have the b plus 2 here, b plus 2 here, and we have a b here and a b here, right? So then, um, actually that's what I'm going to do right now, is I'm just going to change all of these so they have the same denominator because I know this is what we need. So then I'm going to multiply this denominator by b. Oh, wrong. Put the bracket there, okay? But if I multiply the denominator by b, I have to multiply the numerator by b. And this one here has to be multiplied by b plus 4, b plus 2. <laughs> b plus 2, okay, and if I multiply the denominator by b plus 2, I must multiply the numerator, right? So now uh, the denominators are all the same, we've made all the changes, so now the top, uh, we can just write out the top over this one denominator, so we have 3b plus a minus 2 minus 4 times b plus 2 and this is all over b times b plus 2. Alright, so now what we can do is just add up some of this stuff or sort it out a little bit more. So we have 3b, let's put the a in front, so a plus 3b minus 2, minus 4b, minus 8. Yep, okay. And the denominator remains b uh, times b plus 2. Okay. Now we'll just add this up. We have a minus b, so these two are gone, minus 10 over b times b plus 2. Okay, so that's that one. Now the next question. Here we have divided, or I'm sorry, 5 divided by r minus 8r plus 16 added to 2a over 3r minus 12. So this one is factorable, and this is factorable as well. So let's just do that piece. So we have 5. Here we have r minus 4 times r minus 4 added to 2a we factor this as well so we pull out the 3 and we're left with r minus 4 all right so now we can see that the denominator is r minus 4 squared so r minus 4 times r minus 4 times 3 so then what we can do is say, all right, well, I'm going to put a 3 in here, but I also then have to put a 3 up here. And I need to multiply this denominator by r minus 4. 
and I need to multiply up here by r minus 4. Okay. So now we have on the top here 15 plus 2ar minus 8a. And that is all over 3 times r minus 4 squared. Now I'm actually just going to leave it like that. That's good enough, I think. We could probably put this first and that second and that third. That's reasonable, but basically we've just solved this. And uh, that's actually the last question for this video. And that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a great day. Take care.